Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing some division using base 10 paper. This is basically partial quotients. So we're going to find the answer to our problem a little bit at a time. So here we go. We have um, the question, Jake has 128 pencils that he wants to put in eight separate piles. How many pencils will he have in each pile? All right, so I'm going to think of this for a minute, process it. 128 pencils, that's quite a few. Um, that's important information, I'm going to circle that. And he wants to put them in eight separate piles. And I'm assuming he wants to split them evenly. So it says, how many pencils will he have in each pile? Okay, so he has 128, he has eight separate piles. I'm going to think of that as separating a bunch of pencils and putting them into the plastic school boxes. All right, so I have a dividend or a total of 128. I have to separate it into groups. I have eight groups that I need. And those are my little plastic containers. So my divisor is eight, my dividend is 128. And I'm going to do that on the base 10 paper. So along the side here is where I'm going to put my groups. I'm going to mark off 8, which is right to here. I'm going to mark that as 8. Now each one of these rows along here is going to represent one of my school boxes that I'm putting these in, or one of my piles. So I have 8 piles. And I'm going to start putting the pencils in each pile, and I have to stop when I get to 128. That is my goal. I want all my piles to have an even amount in them. So I'm going to think of 128 right now. And how many pencils can I safely put in the boxes, in each box, and not be over 128? Well, I can't put, uh, I cannot put 100 in each box. That would be 800. I only have 128 pencils. I can't do 50 because that would be 400. I can't do, well, I know I can do 10. I'm just going to go with 10. So I know that for sure. I'm going to go ahead and fill in each line, each row, with 10 pencils. So it looks like this. This pencil box gets 10, this one gets 10, and so on. So as I go down, I can count how many 10s I'm putting in here. Okay, so far I gave every box, change my marker here, I gave every box 10. So, so far each box has 10 in it. And after I gave away, gave each box 10, I've used up 80 of my pencils because 10 times 8 is 80. So I'm going to subtract off 80 from my total here. Now I know I have, let me finish doing this, now I know I have 48 pencils yet to give away. Well, I can think of my um, compatible numbers, and I know that 8 is actually compatible with 48. I can pick a nice even number to put in each one now that's going to finish this off really nice. So if I have 48 pencils to, give a, to split between 8 boxes, I know that I can put... Um, six pencils in each of those boxes because six times eight is 48. So I'm going to go ahead and put six more in. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. And when I'm done doing that, here is my rectangle. And I'm going to mark this with 6. And that's also my answer. I can put in each row I have 16. If you can see this right here. Each of these rows has 16 um, pencils in it or 16 squares in it. Since each one of them has 16, that means that 8 times 16 gave me 128. So to answer the question, how many go in each box? My answer is 16 because there's 16 
in one of the rows. And that's it. My total is 128 in here inside my rectangle, but my answer, my quotient is 16. Jake will have 16 pencils in each pile.